Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I decided to do a quickie. We're going to do a quickie. We're going to do a quickie. We're going to see what comes up. Just a little quickie for whoever it resonates. Whew. Four of Swords. Idea. You know, this is like releasing something. Releasing something that needs to be dealt with. <laughs> a thought. Taking a break. Thinking. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is releasing. Releasing the pain from the past. Forgiveness. Finding forgiveness. Somebody is finding forgiveness. Oh, it's funny. Three, four, five of swords. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy, happy. I just want forgiveness in this situation. Somebody has been enlightened through solitude about what really makes them happy. And, at, you know, this is forgiving the past hurts. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they may have lost an opportunity, a stable, solid opportunity. Maybe they were too focused on the wrong things. Um, communication, communication, communication. Somebody may be, this is communication, this is communication. This could be text, this could be any kind of communication, but this is communicating the truth about how they feel you know I just want to be happy I don't want to prove about the mistakes that they made somebody has made some mistakes and wanted to win 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 and now they realize that it was a two-way street and they may be communicating that they want forgiveness or they forgive you they've been enlightened in some way you know they've taken some time to really go within and they've listen you know, listen, and now it's like, all of a sudden, there's like some sort of shift that they've, wake, they've woken up. Somebody has had some sort of awakening. Oh. And perhaps they realize that they have wasted some time and they want to come back to something. They may see that somebody has turned their back and they're facing another person and now it's just like, damn, I wasted my time. Somebody did waste their time. Absolutely, somebody did waste their time. And it looks now, it looks like now somebody is recognizing. Somebody is absolutely recognizing that. You know, it's time for me to stand up. It's time for me to go after my queen. It's time to go after my abundance and communicate. I know what I need to do um, because this other person is headed in a different direction. Okay, this other person is, is uh, I just want to be happy. I mean, I just want to be happy. And it looks like this other person probably has another opportunity, but may not want it. I don't know. Um... Whew, I think there's going to be some communication that comes through about um, forgiveness, you know, about letting go of the past hurts. Somebody may decide, you know, you're the one that I love because these are the rods of love. Um, can you forgive me? Uh, this queen is the most nurturing, abundant queen. She's very uh, loyal stable secure and she has a lot of abundance i mean right in her hands i mean she's very very um, practical and she's real um and i feel like we have somebody here that has been really trying to prove themselves in a situation but they've come to the you know they've woken up they've received some sort of clarity that Whatever this person has is so big. I mean, it's so it's so good that if they don't stand up and go for it, um, it 
if they don't stand up and go for it, it's not it's not going to lead to victory. It's not going to lead to success. It's not going to lead. They're not going to get anything out of it. I mean, if they don't stand up, somebody is is has been wasting their time, stalling, not moving forward, living in an unrealistic situation when they have a stable offer right here. And it looks like this person has been enlightened that you know I. I got to face this opposition because right now I'm I'm not having any growth, you know, I'm being unrealistic here. Somebody probably wasn't prepared for this person to actually walk towards another person. It's like I don't want this to change. I don't want this to evolve. I don't I don't Somebody may be frustrated. Somebody may be frustrated that somebody has really turned their back on them. And they can't escape the reality of it. They can't escape the reality that somebody has given up. They're not putting in effort. I'm not putting in effort. Seriously. Somebody is not putting in effort to come together with somebody that has wasted their time. I'm not going to waste my time on this. That's the practical thing to do. We have we have somebody here that is being very practical, accepting the truth about the past. And moving forward. And I think that we have somebody else that has not been able, has not been able to heal from a situation. They haven't been able to move on. They've been stuck in limbo. They haven't been able to master their emotions. And now they want a fresh new start. All of a sudden, it's like all of a sudden I want to start over. I want to start over. Can we start over? Somebody may be communicating. Can we start over? Can you forgive me? I realized I didn't put in effort. I realized that I was trying to prove myself. I realized that, you know, I may have made a lot of mistakes. And now I'm ready to give. I'm ready to share. I'm ready to give to you. I'm ready to give up this, this stance. I'm ready to stop holding on to my own insecurities. I'm ready. I'm ready to start over. I'm ready to share my life. I'm ready to share with you. I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore. If somebody is not feeling the love. Okay, they're not feeling the love. I, I, I want it back. I want the love back. I'm not happy. Somebody has been really emotional watching somebody walk away. Somebody has been walking away towards another person. And it's been emotional for the person watching. And now it's like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore. I want to start over. I'm ready to stand up and take a risk. Because this is love. It's love. It's love. So I feel like somebody may receive a message because the, with the eight of wands and the ace of yeah, the eight of wands and the ace of swords, it's like that's a message. That is a message coming through about love. Can we start over? Can we start over? Can you forgive me? This is can you forgive me? I see it clearly now. Somebody just tried to escape. They tried to escape. But you can't escape true love. And I feel like somebody is going to find the confidence to come forward. This could be somebody brand new though. It could be. Somebody could be deciding that they're not going to sacrifice themselves anymore because of the past. I'm not going to hold on to the past. And the Queen of Pentacles is very practical. Very, very practical. 
she this this woman knows what she has i mean she has abundance in her hand she's got the gold she's got the opportunity she can manifest whatever she wants that's the, the ace of pentacles is manifestation she has a gift in her hand it's a big one it's a big one and somebody is deciding you know it's that's too big to give up i can't i can't give that up i want that and i think they're really emotional you know uh over facing the opposition facing their feelings you know i'm gonna have to face my my feelings to this person who is very practical this person whoever this person is they're 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 definitely upset and they've been watching they're definitely upset with what they see this somebody is starting over somebody is starting over in a relationship whether it is with somebody new or somebody with from your past somebody is starting over in a relationship there's no doubt starting fresh new 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 union here it's like, and it's meant to be okay it is it's a divine connection it is it's meant to be so we have a partnership that is coming together that is meant to be it is. It's like you know it. You know it. You do. You know it. And is, there is an opportunity to, to start over. To start over. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces, Cancer. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got these three. I guess we'll take them. Somebody has been reluctant to face oppositions. Oppositions. Yeah, oppositions. That's about right. They've been reluctant. There's been a lot of opposition. They've been confused. They couldn't find the discipline. They couldn't find the mental strength to follow their heart. But it's like now, now it's like this person is walking away. unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i feel what's happened here is that there's an unrequited love situation obviously with somebody somebody has because i just did another reading i just did another reading in which somebody has gotten themselves involved in a fake situation. You know, it was fake. It wasn't, it was fake. And they did it. They did it so that they could heal. They thought that they were going to be able to heal from this true love. They thought that they were going to be able to heal from this true love situation. And now there's been all kinds of red flags. There's been all kinds of red flags. And this person has gone through some sort of awakening, okay? This is awakening. That they were a fool. You know, they got themselves in a situation because they were trying to prove a point. And now they're hurt because they lost love. They lost true love. Now they're deciding, clearly decide what you want. So they're clearly, they're, they're deciding what they want. But it may be too late because this person may have already walked away. Maybe they see that. Maybe they're deciding now, you know, uh, this person's given up on me because I know I gave up on them. Got myself into an unrequited love situation. Started, was playing games. Somebody was playing games really struggling with their emotions, unable to master their emotions, unable to be real. And now it's just like, now they're upset and angry that the person that they really love has walked away. And they want forgiveness and they want to start over. It's going to be up to you to decide what the hell you want. Let's get one of these real quick. 
Somebody don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. And that's the truth. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want... It's almost like a reunion. I would like a reunion. I don't know what this is. But there's definitely an unrequited love situation here where somebody has been involved with somebody that it wasn't real. It's like there wasn't enough attraction. They were... There wasn't. Period. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going in, going on inside you at this time. I wasn't going to post the other reading that I just did because it was so long, but I really think I'm going to now. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? What does your heart want? Who are you with that doesn't serve you? What does your heart want? I know what my heart wants. When was the last time I checked in with myself? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Stop pretending. Get real. Good luck.